On July 4, 1776, a new nation was founded on the principle that an individual knows how to better run their own life than any government. On May 30, 2024, 248 years later, New Yorkers changed that nation into a banana republic. Welcome to the Free Thought Frontier, and I'm your host, Bill Stone. So yeah, I'm sure you thought I was just being sensationalist when I told you how the United States, once a beacon of individual liberty throughout the world, became no better than Cuba. Well, the fact is, as critical as I've been in the past, I've always tried to do it with a level head. I've tried to be the voice of sanity in the room, but that doesn't work. So I'm now done mincing words. I have been too nice for too long. I am done pussyfooting after the insane woke. And more specifically with this video, I am done worrying about the sniveling, crying, embarrassing little bitches that now inhabit New York City. This one isn't really aimed at all of those who are my regular viewers who love freedom and individual liberty. As always, man, I can't thank you enough for showing up. I really can't. But on this one, probably the best thing you can do is to publicize this video because you're not the ones who need to see it. It's the insane woke. Now, on May 30th, 2024, a Manhattan jury found Donald Trump guilty of all 34 charges of falsifying business records. These were utterly ludicrous charges, and I'm absolutely certain that Trump will win on appeal. The sole reason that these charges were brought against him was that the insane woke want to be rid of him at any cost. They want Donald Trump to be either disqualified from office, sent to prison, or just plain unalived. Unable to impeach him while he was in office, they are now trying to bring various charges against him around the country. These are the tactics of places like Ecuador, Cuba, Russia, and China. They have no place in a free society. The problem is the Manhattan jury. New York City is filled to the brim with nothing but woke morons. You have allowed your city to become a pest hole on par with Kuwait City, ranked the worst city in the world. That's right, New Yorkers. I'm calling you out as a bunch of submoronic left-wing jerk-offs. If I had my way, we would go full escape through New York on you. We would totally wall off Manhattan, mine the bridges, rivers, and even the ocean. We would take every single one of you 19,426,449 of you in the metro area and shove you onto that shitty island. And then we don't let you out. If you try to leave by sea, we blow you out of the water. If you try to do it by bridge, we bring down a goddamn drone strike. And that's if I had my way, which fortunately for you, we don't. The unfortunate reality is that New Yorkers, are the stupidest, most dangerous gang of thugs in the United States. You don't even give a rat's ass about the condition of your own city. Oh, you whine a lot, but you never actually get off your stupid asses and do something about it. Uh, uh, the government! The, the government! I, I just, I, the government needs to do this. Yeah, we, uh, run my life, run my life! The <laughs> well, what did you expect, you ridiculous idiot? Have you not learned from just the last few years that government isn't going to lift one single finger to help you out? If you want to change things, then you need to get off your ass and actually do something about it. Put down the goddamn video game controller, the phone, or whatever it is that you use to occupy your useless waste of life, and go outside and 
do something about your shithole of a city. Go outside, find something that needs to be fixed, and fix it! Stop sitting around like the whiny little bitches you are. Well, I visited New York City. You'd have to carry me there, bound and gagged, for me to ever, ever want to return. New York City is a shithole. Say it again for me, class. New York City is a shithole. My entire life has been sent, spent in the Great Plains, between Chicago and Rapid City, South Dakota. Now, Chicago's a shithole, but that's hardly news to anyone. Everywhere west of that, what New Yorkers insultingly call flyover country, is a paradise. Within the next couple of months, I'll be settling down in Wall, South Dakota, probably for the rest of my life. The resident population of Wall will be an even 700 with my arrival. However, it's a giant tourist trap, and in the summer, a couple of hundred thousand people swarm that town every year. It's an utter paradise, believe me. If you don't, contact me. I'll arrange a personal tour, me as your guide, that may even include my family ranch land. And I guarantee that you will be utterly stunned at the beauty that you see around you. It's the beauty that I'm going to see outside my window for the rest of my life. You, on the other hand, will see nothing but a toxic shithole out the window that you are so stupid to pay an exorbitant amount of money to even have. Now, I'm sick of New Yorkers, Chicagoans, and Angelinos controlling all the public discourse and debate in the United States because, frankly, you're too stupid to be allowed to do it because you always vote to make everything worse for everybody. That's right, you whiny little bitches are now ruining the lives of every last 334,914,895 men, women, and children in the United States. You are a bunch of inbred bumpkins, and the world will be better off if you took a long walk off a very short pier. And if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not even sure that I wouldn't cheer if the Russians nuked Chicago, New York, and Los Angeles into radioactive rubble. You are a festering, gangrenous, rotting limb on the body politic, and the sooner that you are amputated, the better. That's all I have to say about that. I'd love to keep the conversation going, so please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave me plenty of comments. Now, I don't engage on social media because it messes with the dopamine system in your brain, creating an addictive information-seeking loop that keeps you constantly glued to your phone. But I do monitor this channel closely, and I will watch all the comments and I'll engage you here. Now, I'd ordinarily ask you to share me, but not on social media, because you shouldn't be using it, because social media messes with the dopamine system in your brain and creates an addictive information-seeking loop that keeps you constantly glued to your phone. However, in this particular case, I'd be thrilled if you shared me on social media. <laughs> I want New Yorkers to see this video. I want to see if they'll even push back. My guess is that they won't because they're just a bunch of whiny little bitches. So, thanks for watching The Free Thought Frontier, and I'm your host, Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.